If you clicked on this video hoping to find a cheery tale, I must tell you, you've clicked on the wrong video. And it would be in your best interest to look away and watch something more pleasant and not full of tales of misery and woe. So today's unfortunate look is of Jacqueline from a series of unfortunate events, the Netflix show. Uh, it's been a while since I read the entire series, but I do not remember uh, Mr. Poe having a secretary named Jacqueline, and if he did, she wasn't involved to the point that she is in the, the, the show. She's pretty tough in the show. She takes care of business, despite her incompetent boss constantly putting these poor orphans in peril. So her makeup look was pretty natural, except for her red lips. Uh, real 40s vibe to it. I suggest that you do not watch this video, that you click on another video with a more cheery tale, and that doesn't end in unfortunate events. So I've already used foundation on my skin. This one's from Alme. Truly long-lasting color. As with uh, most of the characters in the beginning of a series of unfortunate events, their makeup's very neutral. So I used my Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette and stick on the matte side. So I'm going to start by taking the shade Password right there and put that lightly through the crease. like this crease brush. It's from Vicente. It's a, I got it in an Ipsy bag. It's a contour eyeshadow 4 brush. It's really nice for getting color in the crease. And then using my MAC blending brush. And I'm going to take the shade Combust, that one right there, and put that on the center of the lid. Then I'm going to take a gel liner. This one's from Maybelline, and gently run that along the top lash line. So Jacqueline doesn't have a lot going on on her lower lash line, so I'm going to take this neutral eyeliner, sort of skin tone, from Paula Dorf, and just run that along the waterline. Then I'm going to take the tiniest amount of the shade Whiskey, right here, this brown, and run that along the lower lash line. Then I'm using this mascara from Clinique on the top lashes.
And her lower lashes really don't look like they have anything going on, so we're good there. Then we'll take the shade 13 and highlight the brow bone and inner corner. up any messes with some concealer now using my trusty NYX contour and highlight palette I shall contour and highlight I'm gonna go with that shade. And I'm going to take this highlight shade there. Then I'm going to take this blush. It's from Tarte. It is in the shade Feisty. I think that fits for Jacqueline. She's pretty feisty in the show. And then probably the most distinct part of Jacqueline's look is her red lipstick. So I'm going to use this liquid lipstick from ELF in the shade Red Carpet. So here we have our finished Jacqueline, Mr. Poe's secretary look, uh, who I do not recall from the book at all, but she's a great character in the show. Obviously her hair is different from mine, it's blonde first of all, and it's curled like a nice 40s kind of style, uh, she doesn't have bangs, but this is my makeup inspired by her. Thank you for watching. Um, do not subscribe, do not follow me, unless you like makeup tales of misery and woe. Don't follow me. Just look away. Bye.